Ever since man first slipped behind the wheel of a fast automobile, there's been the little matter of bragging rights. What do you got in there, kid? More than you can handle. Then comes the moment when you must put it all on the line, the showdown. Wow, he's really fast, isn't he? Traditionally, these contests of speed have taken place on the streets, which is, of course, highly illegal. Not to mention dangerous. But now, there's a completely legal place to see just who has the hottest car. Welcome to the Motorola Cup, North America's fastest growing professional racing series. Here, the world's most powerful street stock muscle cars go head to head, door handle to door handle. Winner takes all. And a little trading of paint along the way just goes with the territory. American Mustangs and Firebirds versus German BMWs, Porsches and Audis versus Japanese Acuras, Hondas, Mazdas, Toyotas and Lexus, along with Korean Hyundais. Ten races at some of the most high-profile venues in the United States and Canada, including the 12 Hours of Sebring, the Molson Indy at Toronto, and the Road Atlanta Grand Prix. With huge fields and plenty of action, the Motorola Cup attracts over 800,000 spectators, while television coverage brings the excitement to millions of homes across the North American continent. Over 90 hours of fast-paced action carried by national networks in the U.S. and Canada, where viewers can root for their favorite machines. And with bragging rights on the line, there's also serious support from major corporate sponsors, all wanting to see their brand in Victory Circle. Then, of course, there are the drivers, and the Motorola Cup attracts a rather special breed. IndyCar and Winston Cup racers out to kick some butt on an off weekend. To me, driving is you know, one of the most fun things I can do in the world, so if someone's stupid enough to throw me the keys, I'll drive it. Weekend warriors seeking to fulfill their dreams. We've had big, so-called big name drivers come in and join us uh, as our guests, and typically they don't do so well. Captains of industry out to prove themselves yet again. And I think the uh, important thing is not to be lured in by the competition. And young lions out to make their mark in professional racing. Usually it all comes around in the end because the guys that run hard might not be there at the end. From there on, it's like everybody's dream of foreign Indy, you know, who knows? It's hot, it's action-packed, and it's a little wild and crazy, which is what street stock racing is all about. It's the Motorola Cup, the ultimate proving ground for today's high-performance automobiles.